Hey guys, the Langbanger here. New deck profile for March 2013, and we have six Samurais. Now, what's cool with this stack? Shien Smoke Signal went to three. What is Shien Smoke Signal? It's a reinforcement of the army for Samurais exclusively. It wasn't bad enough that reinforcement of the army actually grabs every guy that you use except Grandmaster, but, you know, they had to make another card and yeah pretty silly because they have four rotas essentially gateway which you could consider a rota but you know it does more things than that so the deck is absolutely insane this is one of those decks to you know can really utilize the nutrious synchros really depends on which one you want to do i mean you can definitely do in general, Barkeon and Beast, the easiest. I mean, you can go in the Landois if you really want it. I mean, you know, you would maybe have to optimize your build to go into that a little easier. But, you know, this is one of those decks that, you know, just has all the toolbox in the world in their extra deck. And it could possibly be game because if you can go first and go in the Xien or beast and then next turn go into another synchro or even exceed i mean more than likely it's going to be game over your opponent's going to have to do a whole lot of shit to try and come back let's go into the deck list though you have three elder one grandmaster one hand three kagamusha three kageki three kizon and one zanji onto the spells you have three asceticism one book of moon one dark hole one gateway one mind control one reborn two mst one Rota, three Smoke Signal, and three United. Onto the traps, you have two Bottomless, two Compulse, one Sword Technique, one Magatama, and one of each Solemn. So, that is my deck list. As you can see, I am not using Shien's Dojo. The card's fine, the card's good, but I honestly, I'm just not digging it right now. Now, when we do have lava chain and emerald and stuff like that then you know i very well may have to add dojos in there because of all the amount of loops that you can do um i mean see that, that's kind of the weird thing because i feel like this deck is already win more as is but by doing that and trying to go for loops and all that i just i'm not gonna say like people are gonna drop it but i'm not like a hundred percent you know like sure on that yet now you know i'm probably gonna get hate for saying that but you know we honestly just gotta wait and see um hidden arsenal seven i think we're up to now that's coming out end of april so you know we'll see what happens uh but as i said with dojo don't really need it at least in my opinion if you guys want to use it by all means go ahead one double-edged sword technique you don't really want to overdo it um you just want to have it there as a safety net. I mean, you should be able to, you know, go into the guys you want already. And, you know, you may just need sword technique to fight back or something like that, which, you know, doesn't really happen that often if things go the way that you want it to. Um, two MST, I mean, for the most part, once you can make a board, I mean, you're, I'm not going to say like MST is bad, but, you know, you have Xi'an, you have Beast. So that alone, if you can get both of those out, you know, Beast can negate any spells whatsoever. And then you'll just let Xien sit there and... Oh, excuse me. I always burp every freaking video. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you just have your synchros and they just do the work for you. So, And I feel like 3 MSC would kind of be cloggy. This is one of those decks where... You don't have to play like your entire hand, but for the most part, you're going to be using a lot of cards. You're not just going to summon one monster hit and then pass i mean you know you're gonna be playing one of your rotas one of the united's um dropping multiple monsters from your hand and that's just the way that this deck works so um we'll see on the three asceticism uh by looking at my monster lineup i'm sure you're thinking like eh, i don't know how well that's gonna work but really it's just for the sack factor i mean if you can get the Shien or beast i mean those are two of the more powerful cards in the game um yeah so that's that let me know what you guys think of the deck i definitely think this is going to be a contender what's neat about this deck i mean you don't really need the graveyard so you can actually side d fissure if you really wanted to um 
you know that that's just something to think of because D Fisher Macro and even Banisher of the Radiance they are really picking up in playability right now and you know that's that so this deck has a whole lot of versatility and I'm interested to see what happens with it thanks for watching guys and have a good day peace